एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In this video, we will be learning about the basic concepts of engineering drawing, and this is the second part of the video. In the first part, we have learnt the basic concepts of engineering drawing, and also the tools which are used to draw the objects. Welcome to S Chan Academy, and I am Anmol Bhatia. For detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. In the previous video, we learned about the title block. In the title block, what we have seen, we have seen that this type of setup would be required on your sheet. And where do we make this kind of setup? We make this setup in the corner which is the bottom right corner of your sheet if this is your sheet then on the bottom right corner of the sheet we make this title block apart from that we make a border also on the sheet so there is a border on the sheet and on the extreme right corner uh, bottom right corner we make this title block and the contents of the title block is as follows for majority of the colleges we follow this type of uh, title block but the contents of the title block would specifically include your name your roll number your class the name of your college and the title of the sheet that you are producing there is an example of a scale there is a uh, there is specifically a written case of the scale the sheet number and there is one symbol and a date now why it is required for academic purpose the teacher would specifically sign here and would give you marks but as far as industrial usage is concerned whenever a draftsman or a design engineer produces a drawing so he basically works in this workable region and he needs to write the details that he has prepared the drawing so whenever the customer looks at the drawing customer would uh, see that the drawing is prepared by whom checked by whom or verified by whom so this is the basic idea behind making the title block in the title block the majority of the things are clear but the thing which is maybe creating a confusion is this scale why the scale is here and what kind of symbol is it so in the future course of the videos will come across these two so initially we'll discuss about the scales so in the title block you have seen that it was written 1 is to 1 this 1 is to 1 indicates the drawing size is to the actual size that means if the actual size of the object is let's say 10 mm then in the drawing you will be indicating 10 mm only that is the full scale drawing or the full size scale but if uh, i talk about the electronics industry specifically where the shorter chips are required to be presented to the customer so for that they need to present it in a much larger view so we have to use the enlarged view to represent the smaller objects so as you can see that the drawing size is double and the actual size is 1 so let's say if the drawing if the actual size of the object is let's say 10 mm so it would be doubled if the scale is 2 is to 1 it would be tripled if it is 3 is to 1 and it would become 100 times if it is 100 is to 1 and in case of civil construction uh, industry where the size of the objects or the drawing components would be larger so in that situation you need to reduce down the scale in order to show it on the drawing so for that you use a reducing scale so it can be 1 is to 2 1 is to 3 1 is to 100 that means if the actual size is 2 then on the drawing you need to represent 1 that means half of the uh, dimension is to be represented on the drawing that we are making so in general whenever we are indicating the title block 
in general course of action we would be using the full scale length so if you are using full scale length indicate here 1 is to 1 otherwise you need to indicate the scale as per the requirement then uh, majorly you will come across this thing which is the dimensional arrowhead and why it is necessary let's say i have an object and i want to represent the dimension of this object so i need to represent the dimension of this object with the help of a dimensional line and some students would make the dimension line like this and some students would make the dimension like line like this all these are the wrong procedures to make the dimensional lines as per iso we have a set procedure whenever we are indicating the dimensional lines so what is that procedure we have to draw a line and we have to make an arrow and this arrow has a particular specification and that specification if if this height is one unit then this length should be three times of that length that means if i am making this length as one unit so i will specifically uh, write this length as three units so the question that comes into the mind of any student is do i need to measure this dimensional arrow and then indicate so the answer to this would be no you need to uh, specifically uh, mention this 1 is to 3 by analyzing so what happens here you need to draw two extensions initially if you want to indicate the dimensions and then you need to draw a line here from this starting region what you can do you can just drop down the length so that it appears three times of the width that you would be taking so from here just uh, shade the region so that it appears three times and here also you need to just take the length or the height as three times and just shade the region so these two regions are shaded so that everyone makes a similar kind of dimension this procedure is being made by iso and in order to indicate the vertical dimension we use this procedure in which we write the dimension in this fashion this is the correct part to indicate the vertical dimensions we need not to indicate the dimensions like this if we are indicating the vertical dimensions also uh, there is no units written on this because whenever uh, we make the title block we have to indicate in what units are we working so here we are working in metric systems so all the dimensions are in mm so it is a general statement that all the dimensions would be in mm so we'll indicate the dimension without any specific units and it is explanatory that all the dimensions would be in mm for horizontal you can use the the specific uh, procedure that you know so here you make the dimensional arrow like this so that it appears three times and then indicate this dimensions on the surface so this is the particular scenario in which you indicate the dimensional arrows then lastly the topic uh, which is there in the syllabus is letter writing so what happens we generally need to write certain letters either the capital letters or the small letters on the drawing so what happens here if we write the letters as it is on anywhere on the surface so it would not look good so there is a set procedure to write all those letters so we have capital letters we have numerals and we have small letters so in order to write the capital letter specifically we need to keep the height as 5 mm so we need to make the two lines and these two lines are lighter lines and just take a gap between the two lines as 5 mm and you need to draw two lines with lighter pencil and just you have uh, made a block in that block write this capital letter have some space indicate or draw two lines considering the specific gap write that letter b and then similarly for c d and other aspect you can write the other letters also similar situation is with the numerals also you have to take two lines which are at a distance of let's say 5 mm and you have to take certain gap in between the gap 
you need to indicate that letter so that the height of the letter appears uniform on the surface of the drawing. Now the situation comes of the small letters. In case of small letters what happens generally there is a confusion that how to indicate the height. So let's say if I have the two lines and I write A in between the two lines then there would be a problematic situation to indicate B there. If I indicate B like this so there would be a problem or if I indicate B like this there would be a confusion. So in order to overcome that confusion there is a procedure to write the small letter and what is that procedure? You have to make two lines which are inclined at a distance of 7 mm and keep a gap of 1 mm from the above line and keep a gap of 1 mm from the below line so that it becomes 5 mm initially in the center and then in the central part you need to write the capital letter like this which is A and then the small letter B like this which is B. This solves the confusion that means the overall height of the object or the letter would be this and then the C part and then the D part again. So all these letters are written for references. So what happens here we need to keep everything aligned uh, so that every uh, object that appears on the drawing appears uniform and anyone can uh, see the drawing and tell that this is made as per ISO. So with this we come to the end of the second part of the video in which we have seen the case of the details which are there in the title block. We have seen the scenario of how to make the dimensional arrows and the letter writing case. For detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting you can like share subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.